Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and we talk all about fashion here on this channel and style, specifically petite fashion and I have another haul for you all in this video. Now, I have done some hauls in the past. I've actually done a haul from this brand before. Primarily, I focus on pieces that fit a petite frame well. So for reference, I am only 5'1", and so I am always on the hunt for items, pants, dresses, tops even, that fit a petite body type. So if you're like me and you are sometimes struggling to find items, especially as we're transitioning into springtime, that fit you without a lot of tailoring or a lot of zhuzhing, then you might wanna stick around because I have a couple very, very good pieces I'm so excited to share. So it's definitely been in the last year or so that Abercrombie has really come onto the radar for millennials, even the Gen Z crowd, and I feel like they took everyone's critiques of them and they put them to good use. They revamped their style. They created a lot of basic, yet also kind of in that trendy category pieces and definitely shied away from their Y2K style that we were all associating Abercrombie with. I have a number of Abercrombie pieces now that I absolutely love and was really curious about their spring 2023 new styles that arrived on their site a few weeks ago. So during one of their big sales, I put in an order for four different pants because I felt like that was something that I am still kind of missing from my wardrobe, especially in the category of dress pants. So I bought and have here four different pants, all different styles, from Abercrombie and I want to look at them, how they fit, how they feel, what they're like, especially for a petite. Because Abercrombie does an amazing job of having lots of inclusive sizing and not just waist or hip sizing, although they do an excellent job with that, but they also have lots and lots of different lengths of pants. And previously, a lot of brands, you would just have a petite size and then a normal size and then maybe a tall, but Abercrombie really takes us to the next level. They have extra short lengths, they have short lengths, regular, tall, and then I believe they have an extra tall. And so I was curious about Abercrombie pants, how they fit, how they feel, what extra short versus short meant. So we're gonna dive all into that and we're gonna start with the very first pair of pants, which is actually a pair of jeans. This first pair of denim is the ultra high rise straight jean, I believe is the full name of it. Oh, the 90s straight jean, I'm sorry. The 90s straight jean, I believe this is in the color medium. I had wanted a bit of a lighter wash because I actually have a pair of Levi's that are very, very similar to this colorway. But I do think that this medium color is a really, really good just base for any sort of denim, especially if you're looking to add denim to your wardrobe. This is just a very classic color. I think it's very nice. This is in a size 23 short. And again, when I was purchasing during the sale, there was a lot of sizes going very, very quickly that were selling out fast. So I just grabbed a pair that I thought would generally maybe fit me. I wanted again to try these in a 24 extra short, but these are a 23 short. And I got them and I looked at the waist and I thought there is no way that those are going to fit me. And to my surprise and delight, they actually did. Now, this is a cut of denim that I am not familiar with styling, but it's actually, I have really grown to kind of love this. Um, I am not going to be keeping all of these pairs of pants because I do not need four pairs of pants, nor do they all fit me, but I am debating keeping these. So I am, as you will have seen from some of the cuts of this video, just going to be trying all of these pairs of pants on with just a white tank top. 
If you're interested in seeing different ways and creative ways of styling them, watch my shorts this week because I will be doing a lot of daily outfits styling all four of these pairs of pants. So keep a lookout for the different shorts that are coming. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show specifically the fit of these denim. And I think that actually an extra short would have been a little bit too short for this particular style. So because these are a 90s straight leg denim, they are supposed to be a little bit longer. They're not supposed to be a cropped ankle length denim like I am formerly used to. I think that they look absolutely fantastic. I think that the quality of this denim is honestly a lot like, again, like my Levi's. I have a pair of Levi's wedgie icon fit denim that are absolutely wonderful. I love them. I wear them all the time. But this denim, I would say, is definitely similar. It has a bit of the rigidity that a pair of Levi's is going to have, but also has still a bit of a stretch to them, which is why I believe I could fit into a size 23. Um, they are a ultra high rise, so they are 11 and a half inch high rise. So they come up very, very high, which I actually think helps elongate my frame as a petite. Again, I don't think that an extra short would have worked for me in these. I think that a short grazing the top of a shoe is really where this style kind of shines. You could definitely try an extra short if you wanted that about half of an inch rise upward on the bottom of your hem, or you could get these hemmed if you wanted to. But for the purpose and the styling of these jeans, I think that these are fantastic. So again, I am debating about keeping these. I think that they are kind of like the ultimate cool girl jean. I think that they're still going to be in style for a while. I don't think that they are the most classic denim that you could purchase, but I think that they're fun. They're a fun way to add a little bit of difference to your style with them. And ultimately, I think Abercrombie did a great job of creating a pair of 90s straight leg denim for petites. Next up from Abercrombie, and again, another pair of denim, just because I was curious about them. These are the mom jeans. They are a, again, kind of that 90s style of denim. These are a light destroy wash. So they do have the destroyed um, denim in some of the back and then on the knee as well. These are in a 25 extra short. And like I said, Abercrombie does a great job of creating different lengths to uh, suit different body types and different heights. So these are an extra short. And I think this is the very first pair of pants I have ever tried on that I went, huh, I think those might be a little too short on me. The style for these mom jeans is definitely looser and definitely more of a cropped length, but I kind of felt like they were a little too cropped. I prefer denim that I can, if I think that they're a little bit too long, I can maybe cuff them once, the pair of denim I'm wearing, I'm doing that. My Levi's that I wear all the time, again, I do that. They are a little cropped, but still a little bit long on me, and then I cuff them, and I really like that look. I think it's a bit more casual, um, very, very nice. So. I actually think that the extra short was too long or too short for me rather. Um, again, like I said, I was buying during a very busy sale time. So I probably would have ultimately loved to go with a 24 short in these if I would have decided to keep them. I am not going to keep these. I think they're cool, especially if they would have been in my correct size, but these ones are a bit too large in the waist and then just a bit too short in the length. So they are very fun. They have these in so many different colorways. I think upwards of like a seven to 10. Um, it's a really classic denim if you just want that slightly uh, not quite as like straight cut or slim cut as 
or even a skinny jean. It's just that mom style, great for running errands, great for being a little more casual, especially good for some of the warmer months coming up if you're still interested in wearing denim during spring and summer. These would be really great, but if you're around my size, which is about 5'1", you might want to get two pairs, get the extra short and get the short and see which one really works for you. Next from Abercrombie, we're getting into the two pairs of dress pants that I purchased and I find dress pants particularly challenging to purchase as a petite. So if you're looking for more workwear, you're looking for more office attire, even office to evening attire, these two pairs I was absolutely blown away by. So first of all, we have the Sloan tailored pants in a light taupe. These are a size 24 in the short size. So not extra short, these are short. And I have heard so much about these pants. They come in multiple different colorways. I purchased them in kind of this light tan color, more kind of trending toward a bone color. And I think that they are just so flattering and classic. There is something about a well-made, well-tailored, right length for you dress pant that you just honestly can't beat. And for a petite, again, like I said, these are so challenging to try and find dress pants that hit at the right length without needing to get them tailored, without needing to get them taken in in the waist to fit you in the length or vice versa. These really, truly blew me away. I do believe that they also have an extra short version of these as well as regular and tall, but I found the short was absolutely perfect. And that's primarily because I wear dress pants, particularly with heels. And so I am not gonna be wearing a lot of dress pants and flats. I don't think that style looks particularly flattering, nor do I tend to wear dress pants enough that I need a lot of different variations of outfits for them. But if you do wear flats, you might want to consider potentially looking into the extra short version of these, but wearing these with a heel, even a small heel, is just a very flattering, flattering look for a petite. They are a high rise, so they hit right at kind of the, the mid waist, right at the belly button. Um, again, just a very classic cut. They have pockets. It's a lightweight fabric, so perfect for office wear, for spring, for summertime, even for wintertime if you want to pair it with sweaters and things of that nature. Um, I think that these are just such a classic, like I said, to add into a wardrobe, especially if you're having to go back into the office more consistently, or you just want a pair of dressier pants to wear for different occasions. These would be it without breaking the bank. So like I said, I just styled these with just a plain white tank so that you could truly see the fit and the features of the pants. But if you want to see different ways to that I'm styling these throughout the week, come back every single day here to YouTube, watch my shorts. They're going to be daily outfits styling up these different pairs of pants. And last but not least, this is the pair that I am the most excited about, I think, from this whole Abercrombie Pants haul. These are the tailored wide leg satin pants in the color black. They are a size 24 short. Again, I do believe that they go down to an extra short, but these were the pants, are the pants that have been missing from my life without me even realizing it. These are a very affordable but luxurious way to add in a very elevated style to your wardrobe with just one piece. I pulled these out of the bag and thought, mm, I don't know about these. I put them on and went, oh my goodness, I have to keep these. So these are just a very fun day to night and I know a lot of people get frustrated. I get frustrated when I hear people say that because I'm like, okay, there, how many scenarios am I gonna go from working in an office to going out on a date night? But it actually happens more often than not, I feel. And these pants could truly just take you from working in an office, going out for a meeting, something like that, 
and then needing to meet friends for dinner or go you're going to a lunch meeting or something like that where you can look put together and elevated without feeling too stuffy i thought of three thousand ways that i could style these but again i'm just styling them so that you can see with a white tank very basic very plain but honestly these are just such a fun lightweight very cool, very flowy, but still fitted style of pant that I think is just going to be absolutely perfect for spring going into summertime. So these are just a really fun way to add a little bit of dressiness into your wardrobe without needing to always feel like you have to put on a skirt or a dress. So they're elevated, they're classic, they are such a good addition to anybody's wardrobe, especially in, I feel like this black color is so incredibly versatile. You can pair it with heels and the short length just works tremendously well. If you wanted again to pair it with flats, maybe look at buying the extra short as well and just seeing which one is going to fit you depending on your height. But for me, the short when I'm wearing, gonna wear it with, with heels is just the perfect length of pant. Doesn't drag on the ground, but still has that nice flowy effortless look that I am just so, so excited to kind of take into spring and summer 2023. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you were maybe inspired to try a couple Abercrombie pieces. As always, I will leave everything that I talked about linked in the description below. And remember, keep coming back here to YouTube for new long length videos every single week, but then also daily shorts for outfits and different ways that I'm styling some of the pieces that you will see on this channel. So until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week.